two pipes p and q can fill a tank in 20 hours and 25 hours respectively while a third one can empty it in 30 hours if all the pipes are open together for 10 hours and then pipe r is closed in what time can time pipe q fills in 20 in 1 hour it can do 1 by 20 pipe q fills in 25 in 1 hour it can do 1 by 25 pipe r empties in 30 in 1 hour it can empty 1 by 30 this is minus because it's empty in 1 hour we'll do 1 by 20 plus 1 by 25 minus 1 by 30 we're doing this for 10 hours and wonderful so let's do this for 10 hours completely and then think about what it is remaining or we can say after some time pipe r is closed let's assume that pipes p and q are open for k hours In k hours, pipe P will fill k by 20, pipe Q will fill k by 25. Pipe R is kept only for a 10. Pipe R would have drained 10 by 30. We calculate the total impact should be one. The entire tank should have been filled. One by 10 by 30 is one by three. Or we're effectively saying k by 20 plus k by 25 minus one by three is one. LCM of 20 and 25 is 100. 5k by 20 plus 4, 5k by 100 plus 4k by 100 is 4 by 3. 9k by 100 is 4 by 3. K is 400 by 27. This is the total time taken by uh, for pipes P and Q. They are saying then pipe R is closed. What time the tank can get filled? already they have been open for 10 hours if all the pipes are open for together for 10 hours and then pipe r is closed what time the tank can get filled 400 by 27 hours the question is asking us for how long the tank takes to get filled totally that is 400 by 27 hours not for the remaining hours after pipe r has been closed and so 400 by 27 hours